Night on the ambulance. Night on the ambulance, away from my wife, are burning my stomach, destroying my life. A county away, as though I were tied, I left the sheets cold for my beautiful bride. Though our love for each other was never in doubt, she's warm and she's human, and she turned inside out as night after night I never was there to run my strong fingers through her long, silky hair. Damn my stupidity, my gullible heart, to let all those evenings find us apart when I should have caressed her and held her so tight. I blindly neglected her needs every night. As I played the big hero that people would call, I was digging a pit for my marriage to fall. I never considered from her point of view. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I never considered from her point of view what being alone and boredom could do, for I was awake through those evenings and nights, responding to illness and crashes and fights. I had a good job that paid all the bills and was lucky enough to get a few thrills of adrenaline rush out of saving some lives from overturned cars and bullets and knives. While the red lights and siren did drown out the sound of my lovely wife's heart that did quietly pound, all alone with two arms that had no one to hold in a big empty bed that made her feel cold. <laughs> the primitive reading of Poetic Refreshment Magazine. Her pillar no comfort to the thoughts in her head. By night, far apart, where our different lives led. While she slept. Help me, I'm stuck, she screamed in the dark. As I walked past her friend in the road, the overturned van with people ejected crashed when the driver's eyes closed. Asleep at the wheel on 101, one mile south of Salinas, the brightest of lights in the star-speckled sky, no other than faraway Venus. Twisted, deformed, in a pool of her blood, a testament to not wearing seatbelts, triage the living decide who goes first. In the upside-down van there she knelt. Rather, her kneecap was stuck under the roof, torn from its bend in the leg. The driver was worse as he quietly moaned, but her pain made her yellingly beg. When you don't wear restraints, should your car ever flip, your body moves at freeway speed, and glass that is shattered from striking the road cannot keep you in despite need. At fifty-five miles per hour, no matter the strength you desire, if you trust in your arms to restrain you, the lesson you learn will be dire. Or perhaps I should tell of the bullets and knives that left their own scars in my heart, the trauma I've seen and the blood that I've washed that tore my life slowly apart. In the middle of crowds with spotlight on, medic, you must do your job. Swallow your tears, turn off emotions, and endure what each call starts to rob. Forget what you've heard when the families wailed because magic was not in your scope and due to the damage you could not reverse. With the reaper, did your patient elope? Drive home in the morning, your family still sleeping, unable to share what you've seen as the stains on your mind seep into your veins from the images you cannot wipe clean. Keep your chin up, keep your heart unattached and do what a medic must do. Sickness and death are merely the facts of what, on each shift, we must view. I wrote that in 1999, but, well, it says 2003. I have it dated somewhere in 1999, so I don't know when I wrote it after leaving the ambulance. I left the ambulance in 1999. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that.